Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to cover layers on Inkscape. So I have just opened my window, and I've opened my layers window. You can do this by selecting Shift, Control, and L at the same time, or you can just head over to your menu, click Layer, and then select Layers all the way at the bottom of the menu. That will allow you to see this Layers pane in the menu on your right. So, first of all, just to give a quick overview on layers, um, we have this eyeball here. That is saying that everything within this layer, any object, we can, vi we can see right now because we are looking. We have our eyes open. The moment I close that eye by clicking the eyeball, all the objects hidden in this layer are not visible anymore. We do not have any objects currently on our workspace, but when we do, they will be invisible. The lock, when you click it, it locks the layer. And what that means is you can't edit the layer. It doesn't allow you to do anything with it. It becomes very useful when you have multiple layers and you want maybe layer one to stay as it is and change all the other layers. So for right now, we're going to unlock this layer because we will be making edits. What I will do, um, I'll start off with a simple square. And just note that any object that you draw, Inkscape will add it to the existing layer. Everything has to go in a layer, um, but as long as you do not change it or signify which other one it's going into, it will keep it in layer one. So right now I've just created an object. It's living in layer one. How do I know that? Well, if I click this eyeball and close it, you'll notice that the object disappears. So um, what I can do now is I'm going to add another layer called layer two. Know that you can change these names. Um, it's very useful to do that if you have a project that you need the designer or whoever to see to, to be able to break things apart. These naming conventions are very useful, but for now we're just going to leave it as layer two. And this second question here is asking you where you want it positioned. So you can put objects above each other, below each other, um, or even as a sub layer. Um, right now we'll say below. And we're going to just add that. So we have our layer two, which is below layer one. So I'm going to go here again. I'm going to create another square. And you'll see again which objects are within which layers, the eyeballs. OK, now let's say let's just change this color here. I'm going to change that to gray. Right now you can see because layer two is under layer one, it is underneath. If we were to click, hold, and drag layer two above layer one, you'll notice it pulled it out of the layer and it put it right above, just like the placement of where it is in the menu. It's really simple. So we'll just leave that as is. Okay. So now let's say that you're creating objects and you're not even paying attention and realize afterwards, oh boy, I have to put these in different layers because here I had layer two selected. All of these objects are contained within layer two. So what I will do is, let's say I want this object to be in layer three. I'm gonna go over to layer. I'm going to select move selection to layer. Actually, let's, Let's take that back. First, we have to create the layer. I'm going to create a layer three. I'm going to say above current. You have to create a layer first before you say move to one, because where do you move a layer that you don't have a place for it to go to? So we're going to go back into this layer menu. We're going to go move selection to layer. This layer is currently in layer two. We want it to go to layer three. We're going to select layer three and click move. You'll notice that this highlight had just jumped to layer three because now it is officially in layer three. 
And we can check that by clicking the eye. You go to layer two, you see, notice which objects there are there in layer one. So that's just a quick overview of how to work with layers, how to adjust them. There are more options in here. Um, if you see move selection to layer above, move selection, these are quicker ways, I believe, to um, move objects into different layers. So if I want to say move selection to layer one, I mean above, it will take this object from layer two and move it into layer one, as you can see. And we can check that again by clicking the eyeball, and you'll notice that that was just added to layer one. Okay, so let's say within layer one, we want these objects to be in different positions within the layer. So you can see any object that you create always ends up on the top. But let's say within this layer, you wanted this rectangle, this gray rectangle, to be below the purple. What you could do is you could actually create another layer, layer four, put this rectangle in there and just put it below the purple rectangle. You could do that or you can actually change the positioning within the layer. And you can do this by going to the object menu. In the object menu, you'll see these different uh, commands here. There's raise, lower, raise to top, lower to bottom. Um, raise says, I want to raise this above one object or multiple objects that might have been created at the same time, but it will raise it once. This will lower it once, and this will say, I am going to go to the tippity top of whatever was the highest object. I'm just gonna go on top of that, and same with lowest to the bottom. So what we want here is, you know what? We're just gonna say, I want this to be the lowest object in the layer, and I'm going to select that. And you'll notice right here that the purple square is now above the gray rectangle. Thank you and have a great day.